I'll take any questions from you guys. Front row, right, Steve? Yeah, Coach, you just seen at times uh, you guys got the ball in the red zone, you just couldn't make the third down play, whatever it was you needed. It, I mean, you had opportunities early in the game, and I don't know, just in some sense, what do you come away with that, that you guys got to get cleaned up down there? Yeah, uh, it was awful. And um, we got beat by a good team, very good team, and a quarterback that uh, was dynamic. I thought our defense hung in there. Uh, against, like I said, a very good player. The offense was bad, and so we're going to uh, do what we do, and that's uh, go back to work as hard as we possibly can, starting somewhat tonight and tomorrow, and figure this thing out. Front row left, Bill. You expected, I'm sure, improvement from week one to week two. You've got a long time to try to fix the passing game. Do you have any explanation for what the real struggles are with the passing game, struggles with the passing game? Oh, it's, a, it's not one thing, it's several things. So um, to answer your question, I have some ideas that I'm, you know, we're going to work on as a staff. I'm not going to share that right now. Front row right here, Austin. Urban, how do you evaluate what JT did tonight? Was it another one of those situations where the receivers weren't helping, or do you put anything on him for this one at all? Well, if you're the starting quarterback and you lost, we didn't play very well. A lot of it's going to be on him, uh, but a lot of it's, you know, until I watch the tape, you know, that's just the nature of the beast. Last week we threw the ball decently and had 300 yards passing, and this week we did not. And, um, but, you know, it might, you, you guys, I've been here, for, I think, six years now that I'm never going to point a finger at a quarterback. I'm going to say that, you know, he's the head dog and, and uh, he holds, you know, he's accountable. But, uh, Without watching the film, I have an idea that all three phases of the pass game need improved protection, and and uh, they do a good job. They drop in, you know, they're they're uh, both teams we play now. They're dropping into coverage a lot, and so we just have to uh, keep evaluating what we're doing. But that I'm going to make perfect clear: there's not a bullseye on JT Barrett. It's part of a system and a group that have to get better. Far left, Clay. Coach, uh, fans, maybe media, maybe coaches too, are sometimes prisoners of the moment. What will this week be like for you? Do you see positions being up for grabs? Is this uh, going to be a drastic kind of thing? We just you... finished the game, so I'll evaluate that after we go. And, and uh, we got to go beat Army is what we got to do and get on a roll. And that's what we got to do. We got to get on a uh, – you've seen a roll around here a few times. And so that's what has to happen. Front row right, Tim. Yeah, Irving, y'all seem to get the running game going with J.K., especially in the second half after Paris Campbell's big uh, touchdown or uh, kickoff return, and then kind of got away from that. I mean, what, what was just your feel on how, I guess, the game was called as it went along offensively? Yeah, I wasn't happy with it, and so we just uh, keep reevaluating, and uh, I saw what you saw. Um, you know, J.K. was hitting the ball pretty hard and, and doing some good things. Mike Weber did some good things. And, and uh, we're just not getting in a flow on offense. And I'm seeing the same thing you guys are seeing. Uh, last two questions over to the left. Ari? Urban, uh, I know you just said that there's no bullseye on the back of J.T. Barrett, but I think there's a large portion of this fan base that would like to see or, or wondering if there's a possibility that you would ever even consider a change. Is that something that you will look at? Have you no. thought about? No. And did you think that JT in the course of the game, is it hard for him to, do you think it might have lost a little bit mentally in terms of just kind of the way things were going for him? It seemed like as the game went on and things weren't going that well that he was kind of missing some throws he would usually make. Uh, let, let me watch the film first. Like I said, we just walked off the field about 15 minutes ago. And so uh, I'll let you know, but uh, we've seen him play exceptional and he'll, he will play exceptional next week. And last question over there, Doug. Obviously we've been talking about the passing issues since last season. Does this feel like the same kind of things, or do you feel like it's different things that are leading to this? Just walked off the field 15 minutes ago. I don't want to overreact. So yeah, I, I, I get it, and I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not disrespecting you, but before I, I have a tendency to, you know, let me just digest it, see what's going on. I feel the same pressure uh, as everyone here to get very good at the pass game. We've worked extremely hard at it. It wasn't good tonight. We got to get the damn thing fixed, and we will. So, emotionally, where are you right now? Are you are you just frustrated? Are you angry at all? I'm are you just, confused why this is still all happening? All the above. No, just all the above. And I got a team to go coach, and 
and uh, we'll be hard at work tomorrow. We lost a game, lost a game to a good team, didn't play very well. Go back to work tomorrow and get better. It's a long season, long season. And this is where you need, uh, when you blow out a younger team, uh, you know, a smaller team or a team that's not very good, that doesn't, you know, that doesn't see it. it we, we were challenged uh, the first half against Indiana to play very well and play very well in the second half. This game, we didn't play very well. So go back at it, and uh, it's a long, long season. Good, you know, good players. Your thoughts on Mayfield and the game he had? I mean, yeah, he's a good player, really good player, and I told him afterwards, got a lot of respect. I just love his competitiveness and his energy, and we had him wrapped up, I want to say, eight times, and he came out of that thing. So very good player, and move on. Thanks, guys. Coach, thank you very much.